Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 13. Class 13. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to class 13. Lucky 13. Aquí estamos. Y como siempre, empezando con un repaso de lo que hemos visto en el último clase. En el último clase estuvimos hablando de la idea de que en inglés, hasta que no identifiquemos a alguien por su nombre, siempre usamos el impersonal this o it, cuando estamos hablando de, por ejemplo, si llama a alguien a la puerta, toc, toc, toc. Who is it? ¿Quién es? Who is it? It's, it's John. Ah, it's John. Is he tall? Is he short? Así, porque no sabemos quién es, hasta que no sabemos quién es, digamos it, ¿ok? Y practiquemos en la última clase... Con fotos. Y aquí otra vez tengo una foto ahora de Leila. Is this Hannah? Is this Hannah? No, it's not. Is it Natasha? No, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Los dos. Pueden decir los dos. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Is it Alberto? No, it isn't. Who is it? ¿Quién es? Who is it? Seguimos con el it. Who is it? It's Leila. ¿Ok? Aquí tengo una foto de David. David Waddell. Is this Richard Brown? Aquí, los, estoy tocando la foto aquí, mira. Is this... La foto, perdona. Is this Richard Brown? No, it isn't. Is it Alberto? No, it isn't. Is it Kyle? Is it Kyle? Is it me, Kyle? No, it isn't. Is it Fitz? No, it isn't. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? In both alto. Who is it? Can ask. Who is it? Kyle, who is it? It's David. It's David. Is it Layla? No, it isn't. Who is it? It's David. Okay, again. Let's practice it again. I have a picture of Fitz. Tengo aquí una foto de Fitz. I have a picture here on the table. A picture of Fitz. Is this Richard Brown in casa? No, it isn't. Is it Richard Vaughn? No, it isn't. Is it Layla? No, it isn't. Is it Natasha? No, it isn't. Is it Hannah Cho? No, it isn't. Is it David Waddell? No, it isn't. Is it Kyle? No, it isn't. Is it Carly? No, it isn't. Who is it? Who is it? It's Fitz. Who is it? It's Fitz. En voz alta. Who is it? It's Fitz. Ahora, now, I have a picture of... Hmm, oh, I have a pic picture of David Beckham. It's true. I have a picture of David Beckham. Hmm, is this Kaka? No, it's not. No, it isn't. Is it Richard Vaughn? No, it isn't. Is it Tom Cruise? No, it isn't. Is it Natasha? No, it isn't. Is it Michael Jordan? No, it isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Who is it? Who is it? It's David Beckham. Oh, David Beckham. The English football player. Yes, it's David Beckham. It's. It's David Beckham. It's not Fitz. It's not Layla. It's not Kyle. It's David Beckham. Okay. One more time. Let's do it again. One more time. I have a picture here on the table. Tengo una foto aquí en la mesa. I have a picture of Alberto Alonso. Is this Leila? No, it's not. En voz alta, conmigo, por favor, en voz alta, siempre en voz alta. Eso es muy, muy importante. Is it Hannah? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's. No, it's not. No, it's not. 
Is it Natasha? No, it's not. Is it Tom Cruise? No, it's not. Is it David Beckham? No, it's not. Is it Michael Schumacher? No, it's not. Is it George Bush? No, it's not. George Bush. Is it George Bush? No, it's not. Is it Richard Vaughn? No, it's not. Is it the producer? Is it the producer? The television producer? No, it's not. Is it Nacho, the sound technician? No, it's not. Is it Carmen Vallejo? No, it's not. Is it Richard Brown? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. O también? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Is it Natasha? No, it isn't. Is it Fitz? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Conmigo? No, it isn't. Who is it? Quién es? Who is it? Who is it? It's Alberto. It's Alberto Alonso. Is it Kyle? No, it's not. Who is it? It's Alberto. There he is. It's Alberto. That's right. In the photo. In the picture. Right. Word of the day. Word of the day. SOS. It's time for the word of the day. That's right. The word of the day. Quizás. Tal vez. Hmm. How do you say that in English? Well, maybe. Maybe. Y en casa estás diciendo, y perhaps, pues también, perhaps, or maybe. But the word of the day, the official word of the day for me today is maybe. I want you to try to use maybe more often and perhaps less often. Native English speakers use maybe Definitely 10 times more than we use perhaps. I don't use the word perhaps very often. Esa palabra uso, pues, una vez al semana. Una vez al mes, quizás. Maybe, maybe I use the word perhaps once a month. I use the word maybe many, many, many times every day. Maybe, maybe I use that word 30 times a day. Maybe 30 times a day. Hmm. Perhaps, well, once a week, once a month. So, please, use the word maybe. Much more common than perhaps. Perhaps is good in writing. Formal writing. Or when you're being really careful with your words. But I recommend maybe. Much more common. Maybe. Okay? Muy bien. Ooh, there's, there's someone at the door. Who is it? It's Alberto. It's Alberto. Ah, is he here to see me? Is he here to see me? Ah, uh, yes, he is. Oh, okay, okay, good. Alberto, luego, luego hablamos. Ok, ok. Fíjate aquí, fíjate que es muy importante el momento que it se cambia a he. Y tenemos que decir it hasta que, entende, es hasta que entiendo que estamos hablando de un chico, de, estamos hablando de Alberto, porque tengo una puerta aquí y no hay ninguna ventana y no puedo ver quién está al otro lado. Entonces, oigo ese toc, toc, toc. Who is it? Who is it? It's Alberto. It's Alberto. Ah, is he here to see me? Is he happy? Is he angry? Okay. Ahora podemos cambiar a he, pero, pero al, al principio tenemos que decir it. Hasta que sabemos que es Alberto, que es un hombre, que estoy al, hablando con un hombre. ¿Vale? Eso es muy, muy importante. Ese momento de cambio es muy, muy importante. Y vamos a practicar eso ahora mismo. Vamos a practicar con unos personajes del mundo de Vaughan. Aki Morita. Aki is married. He's, a, he's married. And he's from Japan. Okay. 
Te explico eso porque está bien que sabes las, esas personas, que conoces a esas personas, así que podemos practicar un poco con, con ellos. Aki Morita is a married man from Japan. Nigel Perkins is a married man from England. Philip Johnson is a married man from the United States. Nancy Johnson is a married woman. Está casada. She's married. She's a married woman from the United States. Philip and Nancy are married. Están casados. Paula Eisenbach is not married. She's from Germany. Natasha Sarakovich is not married. She's from Russia. Michael Johnson is not married. He is from the United States. Luigi Bargini is married and he is from Italy. Okay? We also have... Ken Mas. Ah, Pierre Monet. Pierre Monet or Pierre Monet. He's from France. He's married and he is from France. Okay. Aquí empezando con una foto de Pierre. Pierre Monet. Who is this? Who is this? It's Pierre Monet. Okay? Who is this? Tengo una foto de Pierre Monet. Entonces tienes que decir, it's Pierre. It's Pierre Monet. Okay? Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. Is he married or single? Hemos cambiado ya a he. Is he married or single? He's married. Okay? Y ahora con otra que es Inés García. Es española. Es de Sevilla. Who, who is this? Tengo una foto de Inés García. Who is this? It's Inés García. Inés García. Entonces, sabemos que es, un, es una chica. Eh, bueno, una mujer. Is she a man or a woman? She's a woman. Is she married or single? She's single. ¿Ok? Aquí tengo una foto de Lee Tong. Lee Tong. ¿Ok? Lee Tong, que es un chino. Who is this? It's Lee Tong. It's Lee Tong. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. Is he married or single? He's married. He's married. Okay. Ahora ya conocemos a Aki Morita. Married from Japan. Okay. Tengo una foto de Aki Morita. Aki Morita. Who is this? En voz alta en casa. It's Aki Morita. Muy bien. It's Aki Morita. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. He's a man. Is he married or single? Is he married or single? Do you remember? He's married. He's married. Yes. Ahora con Nancy Johnson. Nancy Johnson. Do you remember? American married. She's married to Philip Johnson. Okay. So, Nancy Johnson. Aquí una foto de Nancy. Mira. Oh, who is this? Who is this? It's Nancy Johnson. It's Nancy Johnson. Is she a man or a woman? She's a woman. Is she married or single? En voz alta. She's married. She's married. She's married. Muy bien. Ahora con Michael Johnson, que es el hijo de Nancy y Philip. Y no está casado. So... Michael Johnson. Aquí tengo una foto de Michael Johnson. Who is this? Who is this? En voz alta en casa. It's Michael Johnson. Muy bien. It's Michael Johnson. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. He's a man. Is he married or single? En voz alta. He's single. Eso es. He's single. Vocabulary of the day. All right, ahora vamos a ver la, el, el vocabulario del día, the vocabulary of the day. Familia. Familia. Family. Eso es. Family. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Cuando digamos hasta luego, podemos en inglés decir see you later. See you later. Es como nos vemos más tarde. See you later. Que es muy, muy común. See you later. Goodbye. Or bye. Bye bye. Yo en la radio normalmente digo bye bye. Hasta luego. See you later. Bye bye. Hasta pronto. Bye bye. Goodbye. Verde. Green. Green. Eso es. Green. Green. Aquí. Here. Here. Caballo. Horse. 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 Muy bien. Okay, let's practice a little bit more with our characters. Aquí tengo una foto de Paula, Paula Eisenbach. Do you remember? Do you remember Paula Eisenbach? Paula Eisenbach from Germany, not married. Who is this? Who is this? It's Paula Eisenbach. Is she a man or a woman? Is she a man or a woman? She's a woman. Is she married or single? She's single. Aquí tengo una foto de Tom. Oh, mira, Tom Cruise. Otra foto. Mm, Tom Cruise. Okay. Who is this? It's Tom Cruise. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. Is he married or single? En voz alta? He's married. Yo creo. Yo creo que está casado ahora. I think he's married. He's married. Aquí tengo una foto de Richard Vaughan. Richard Vaughn. Who is this? It's Richard Vaughn. It's Richard Vaughn. Is he a man or a woman? He's a man. He's a man. Is he married or single? He's married. He's married. Eso es. Muy bien. Okay, he's married. Very good. Okay. Very good job today. Well done. Muy bien hecho en casa. Muy bien. Hay que seguir siempre hablando en voz alta. Okay? Eso es muy, muy, muy importante. Do you remember? Do you remember the word of the day? Quizás. O también, tal vez. Maybe. También se puede decir, perhaps. Maybe. Or perhaps. Pero es más común, maybe. Muy bien. Hasta pronto. Bye-bye.